So I said, let's go and and redesign it for killing of cancer. We knew that the, uh, the smallpox vaccine can kill cancer, but we wanted to be more specific mm. and more potent. And uh, and therefore, that's how CF33 was designed. It was actually a virus where we actually took different versions of smallpox vaccines and other vaccines, allowed them to mix and match, made new viruses, and then we screened them against an entire panel of all kinds of cancers. Okay. The most standard panel that is used in America and in the world for screening to see how many cancers a new drug can kill is something called the NCI-60, National Cancer Institute 60 Cell Lines. Mm. And uh, so every time you come up with a new uh, medicine for any cancer, the NCI will throw it on these 60 cell lines just to see how many more it kills. Mm. So this time I said, let's let's go redesign the viruses and uh, and we made uh, over 100 new viruses. And I said, I only cared about the ones that killed all of them. Mm. Then we added 30 more cell lines that we thought were really important. I, I, it's, therefore, we really screened it against more than 90 cell lines, and we only picked the ones that killed everything. And then we took the six or seven that we found that uh, were really good at killing any cancer, at least in the Petri dish, mm. and gave it to animals and said, which ones are safe? And CF33 was the 33rd clone that we tested. Gotcha. And uh, it was really good at killing cancer, and it was really safe in animals. Less than a thousand particles can sometimes cure an animal of cancer. You need a tenth to the ninth, so a trillion mm. particles to have toxicity. And that difference is what we call therapeutic index, where it has effect against cancer and where it has toxicity against human beings. That window was so big, it gave us a really confidence that it would have a good chance of working in human beings.